Baboon TV presents 13 Crazy Celebrity Scandals. Number 13. Everyone knows this star, his role on the show Prison Break. He took his off-screen antics to real life. Back in 2006, the actor pled guilty to vehicular manslaughter as well as providing alcohol to a minor. If this wasn't bad enough, he ended up killing a passenger in his car. Tests showed cocaine in his system along with a blood alcohol level of 0 0.20. Later that year, he was sentenced to 40 months in jail. After two years, he was released. Number 12. Most people recognize O.J. Simpson for that other crime, the most infamous murder of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald J. Simpson. Simpson, however, was acquitted of those charges, despite a vast amount of controversy and armchair judgment focused around the public trial. That brings us to crimes that can be placed at Simpson's door, specifically robbing a Las Vegas casino in 2007 with a group of men trying to claim that valuable sports products were his when they actually belonged to the casino. He also owed more than a million dollars in back taxes at one point, too. Number 11. This is another case where you may feel surprised that you haven't heard or don't remember that Jay-Z was arrested for attempted murder. It happened all the way back in 1999, when Jay-Z was irate with a record executive by the name of Lance Riviera. He believed that Riviera had leaked one of his early albums, thus losing him a whole lot of money, and decided to show his anger by stabbing the exec with a 5-inch blade. However, there was a lack of evidence in the case, and Jay-Z was eventually able to plead guilty to a misdemeanor and then get revenge by becoming enormously successful anyway. Number 10. No celebrity crime list is quite complete without taking a look at Christian Slater's life, which has involved... Well, to simply say, assault doesn't quite cover it. The man has been arrested for multiple assaults, from assault while drunk driving to sexual assault of his girlfriend. He has also been arrested for traveling on a plane with a loaded gun, assaulting a random woman on the street, and a number of alcohol-related issues. Slater must have an amazing attorney and get one free card for the justice system because all of his sentences have been very light. Number 9. In one of the most infamous scandals in boxing, Mike Tyson was arrested in 91 for the violent rape of an 18-year-old girl named Desiree Washington. She was invited to a party held by Tyson who made sexual advances at her and eventually pinned her down in his hotel room and raped her. Sadly, this did very little for his boxing career. Number 8. It's no secret that Robert Downey Jr. has a past liberally speckled with drug problems, including multiple arrests for a variety of drug possessions and use charges. Most of these arrests led to time in rehab, which was perennially unsuccessful for the star until he fell out of the limelight after several years of shenanigans. Luckily, he finally managed to pull himself together and unarguably came back as a much brighter star than he had ever been before. Number 7. The Tim Allen of today looks very different compared to the hard-living Tim Allen dick of the 1970s, which were, well, a very different time. You see, back in the day, Allen used to be a major fan of the old Colombian blow, and not just as a user. He was involved in cocaine sales and trafficking, too. As part of a drug arrest, he was captured at the Kalamazoo slash Battle Creek Airport with 650 grams of cocaine. Allen almost went to prison with a life sentence, but negotiated with the court and cooperated with the feds until he eventually spent only a couple years in prison. Pretty lucky guy. Number 6. Tax evasion convictions are more commonly associated with mobsters and hitmen, but there is one occasion where Wesley Snipes was also infamously convicted. Much like the Ryder case in which we're about to see, in this particular example the courts decided to make an example of Snipes. They didn't want any other Hollywood stars getting ideas about skipping out on taxes just to save a buck. Number 5. You may not associate Winona Ryder in any claims of grand theft. This is because of a very curious case where the court decided to come down heavy on a case of shoplifting. Ryder was chosen as an example after being caught shoplifting and was convicted of grand theft with three years of probation. Oh, and uh, she had to return the clothes that she had walked out with as well. So darn. Number 4. If we were going just by the number of crimes and convictions, then Lohan would be at the top of the list. Also, if our list was in order. But Lohan is such an obvious target, we decided to mention her early on and get it out of the way. She has spent so much time in court and rehab that she is currently more famous for her drug-fueled hijinks and slide into outright craziness than she was for acting. Drug possession, alcohol violations, shoplifting, and much more have led to more or less consistent problems for Lohan for several years. Number 3. It's okay if you do a bit of a double take here, because Wahlberg isn't currently known for trying to murder anybody. 
What is this, another case of star raging out of something trivial? No, no, not at all. You see, Wahlberg had a pretty rough life on the streets in his teen years and was already in trouble with the law by the time he was 16. Then he made it a lot worse when he assaulted two Vietnamese men in two separate fights on the same day. He pled the attempted murder charge down to assault and served a relatively minor sentence before eventually setting his sights on a cleaner Hollywood life. Number two. One of the richest women in the world, head of a vast home improvement empire, and creator of a vast number of media from magazine lines to cooking shows, Martha Stewart seemed untouchable, and far too involved in the kitchen to be convicted of a conspiracy of insider trading. That's not a, that's not a, a joke on women, don't, don't take it that way. I didn't write this. Anyway. This savvy businesswoman overreached a bit in the 2000s when she took hints about impending corporate changes in a company and moved some stocks around to save money. A big no-no in the finance world. As a result, she spent five months in prison but quickly reclaimed her spot in the cooking and decor limelight. Number 1 While promoting his movie Nine Months in 1995, Hugh Grant was arrested in Los Angeles for public oral sex with a prostitute. He was fined $1,180, received two years probation, and was ordered to complete an AIDS education course. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.